retro fans, welcome back to RGF Retro Game Force! And I have here the OSSC, the almighty OSSC! And why I'm showing you a device that I already review on the channel? Because it's awesome! Well, not just because it's awesome, but because I got a new firmware for it! The 0.81A! And I want to go through with you guys to all the new additions to this firmware! So guys, let's check! The new firmware of the OSSC Open Source Scan Converter. Stay tuned! Fight! One! What you can see in the background is footage of the OSSC actually running with the new firmware, the 0.81A. I did a review of the OSSC more or less one year ago, uh, when the channel was actually more or less starting. I leave you a link on the description below. So one year after I have much more knowledge about the OSSC and what it can do. Resuming what I said in this review was that the OSSC was not an upscaler and it's not an upscaler, so it basically multipli multiplies the lines two times, three times, four times and five times. Um, to uh, force our modern televisions to accept a uh, resolution that they consider acceptable like 4080p, 720p and 1080p. Of course, uh, for example on the line tripler you can go 940p which is kind of strange resolution for modern televisions. So that's why not all television works well with all modes. And I mentioned this in my review. The thing is, with good cables, you can have really high quality on this uh, coming out of these uh, uh, old systems. And I tell you, it's really high quality. I was using the version 079A on my OSSC and I updated to the version 0.81A. And basically what I noticed immediately was that the scan lines were looking better and they were already really good, but they got even better. Uh, other thing I noticed was that my Philips TV that was not really working well with the OSSC was now working well. So they actually improve and make more TVs compatible with this. They improve, that's good. Um, and one feature that I actually really enjoy and I never thought I will enjoy it is that the small L L LCD in the front could not be shut down so you have always this light or you completely shut it down every time there was no configured timeout to shut down this, this LCD and they included this now which is good because if you play during the night you don't want to have this screen bothering you around when you want to be focused on the game. Resuming, I will for sure recommend you guys if you have an old version to update for this new 0.81a. Um, just don't forget to, uh, if you have uh, OSSC with the uh, HDMI output, don't forget to use the 0.81a and not the 0.81 regular, because A stands for audio. Uh, I did this mistake once and uh, yeah. I had no audio, so don't forget if you have the OSSC with the HDMI out to use uh, the 0.81A. And I will leave you guys with some more footage coming out from this awesome OSSC. Don't forget, it doesn't have lag because it doesn't upscale, it just multiply the lines. OSSC, awesome device. So guys, until the next video, bye bye.